Despite its small size, the wolverine is an animal that has earned a ferocious reputation as a top predator in the wild. This species looks like a small bear, but the facts suggest it's closely related to the weasel, another small but aggressive creature. Wolverines have a wide variety of nicknames. They are known throughout the contiguous United States as the Glutton, Woods Devil, Indian Devil, and Skunk Bear. The Wolverine has a heavy set, muscular body that measures 65 to 105 centimeters, or 26 to 41 inches in length excluding the tail. It weighs around 9 to 17 kilograms, or 22 to 36 pounds, with males as much as 30% larger than the females. Their fur is long and dense and does not retain much water, making it very resistant to frost which is common in the wolverine's cold habitat. Their feet are equipped with pads, which enable them to travel easily through heavy snow. These animals have strong teeth and powerful jaws, which allow them to devour every bite of their prey including hind, hooves, and bone. They possess a special upper molar in the back of their mouth that is rotated 90 degrees, or sideways, towards the inside of the mouth. This special characteristic allows them to tear off meat from their prey or carrion that has been frozen solid, and also to crush bones, which enables the wolverine to extract the marrow. Wolverines have very poor eyesight, however, they have very good hearing and a strong sense of smell, allowing them to smell food underneath the snow. They have been known to give off a very strong, extremely unpleasant odor, giving rise to the nickname Skunk Bear. The creature's strong body build and movement pattern allow it to walk surprisingly well across the snow at speeds up to 30 miles per hour or 48 kilometers an hour. The Wolverine is also a capable swimmer and climber, which sometimes helps it escape from predators. The wolverine is a highly independent species that prefers a life of solitude. They rarely get along with members of the same sex, and the breeding season is the only time they tolerate members of the same species. The den, which is the central nexus of the wolverine's life, usually consists of a small cave, rock crevice, fallen tree, or pre-existing burrow in which it can create a rough bed of grass and leaves. Wolverine is best described as an omnivorous species that can opportunistically change its diet based on season and location. Berries and plants are the main fares in the summer season, while rabbits, rodents, and leftover carrion constitute the bulk of its diet for the rest of the year, particularly in the sparse winter months. It is so tenacious that it can take on prey up to five times larger than itself usually when the prey is wounded or stranded in deep snow. The wolverine kills its prey with a bite to the neck, which severs the tendons and crushes the throat. Wolverine is a clever animal that will look for any way to steal another kill from other predators to avoid expending time and energy on the hunt. It has been known to drive away much larger animals such as bears and cougars and then take over and consume the carcass of the animal they killed. Wolverines are a shy species, so don't expect to see one out in the wild. They are constantly on the move, looking for their next meal. When more food is available, wolverines don't have to walk as far. On average, the males have a home range of approximately 1,000 square kilometers, while females stay within 100 square kilometers. Some studies suggest that the wolverine is quite a canny and intelligent animal. It has been known to play with toys and objects. It can follow human roads that have minimal traffic to speed up its travel time, and it can sneak baits out of traps that are set by scientists to collar the animal. Despite its relatively smaller size, the wolverine has few other natural predators. The sharp claws and ferocious attitude will deter most other animals from threatening it. Wolf is probably the closest thing it has to a regular predator because an entire pack can pin down a wolverine and prevent it from escaping. In fact, wolverines and wolves sometimes don't even appear in the same territory together. Bears, eagles, and mountain lions may also target a young wolverine and kill it. 
the greatest threat is humanity. The wolverine was once hunted and killed throughout North America and Europe for its fur. This practice is much less common today, but it has yet to recover in some parts of its former range, perhaps due to habitat loss. In the future, as the Arctic warms, climate change could alter some parts of its natural habitat in complex ways. As you can see, wolverines are great animals and have amazing qualities. But can they cope in Africa? The wildlife of Africa is diverse and abundant. No other continent has the diversity of wildlife found in Africa, which spans the entire climatic spectrum from scorching heat to freezing cold. Mammals, birds, reptiles, fish, and insects all have been attracted to the area's diverse vegetation. More than 40 primate species, ranging from tiny galagos to massive gorillas, a wide range of antelopes, gazelles, and other hoofed animals, and 70 carnivore species are among them. The bird wildlife is also abundant, with over 1,500 species found in the south of the Sahara. Africa also has the world's fastest land animal, the cheetah, the world's largest bird, the ostrich, and the world's largest land animal, the elephant. Africa's climate would be one of the biggest problems for wolverines. Wolverines are hyperborean. They currently live in cold, high-latitude regions across vast stretches of Canada, Russia, and Scandinavia. Wolverine is no longer endemic to the United States, except for Alaska and some sporadic and isolated sections of the Rocky Mountains and the Sierras of California. The huge, uninhabited boreal forest and tundra are most suitable for its lifestyle because they offer the most territory to roam around in. Lesotho, a landlocked country completely surrounded by South Africa, is the coldest country in Africa, where temperatures of negative 10 degrees Celsius are common in the cold season, and the winter average hovers around 0 degrees Celsius. It is very mountainous and holds the world record for the highest low point of any country. Lesotho is rich in wildlife and has more species of birds than mammals. There are about 339 bird species compared to 60 mammalian species. There are also many kinds of reptiles and insects, but even this place is inadequate for the wolverine's needs. Even in their natural habitat, they suffer from global warming because they need deep snow where they can dig dens to protect their young and they don't tolerate warm temperatures. The most similar creature in Africa is the smaller honey badger. Both species have an infamous reputation for ferociousness and strength. In some accounts, they are even considered the two toughest members of the weasel family. However, the wolverine is indubitably more energetic, clever, elusive, and receptive as compared to the badger, which, in turn, excels in physical versatility in ways of digging, swimming, and climbing. In terms of hunting and diet, the wolverine, a carnivore, is more accustomed to taking medium-sized mammals like deer, sheep, and small bears for its prey. Furthermore, the wolverine's fierceness and strength disproportionate to its size allows it to take on prey those of many times its size, such as moose. Wolverines may be larger and heavier, but the honey badger has more defensive techniques than a wolverine has. Honey badgers have thick skin, which can bear the sting of insects and bites of big cats, whereas wolverines have loose skin. Wolverines are known to fight with wolves and cougars. On the other hand, honey badgers are known to take on lions, wild dogs, leopards, and hyenas. The wolverine's aggressive nature does not make them an easy meal, and given their small size, predators' efforts are often better spent catching an easier meal with more meat. But that doesn't mean they can live a quiet, carefree life there. The leopards, lions, hyenas, and African wild dogs could occasionally hunt them. Not only predators, but everything in Africa appears to have an attitude issue, whether it's rhinos, hippos, baboons, or the mighty elephant. So, they should learn to keep their distance and pay close attention to what is going on around them.
Now that you've heard our opinion, we want to know yours. Do you think wolverines could survive in Africa? We are waiting for your answers in the comments. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.